Hi, hope and a great day. You're watching JG Entertainment, and for this video, I'm going to be covering the breaking news about Shang-Chi 2 and another special uh, set uh, with the characters or the universe of Shang-Chi announced that just broke today. So, I'm going to be covering that in this video, and I'm definitely very happy to cover this because these are pretty breaking news. So, I'm going to be covering plenty of stuff about these uh, projects, including Shang-Chi 2 and the Plus Show, as well as a lot of other info that you might want to know about this. So, it's going to be a short, brief, uh, very informative video. So, let me just watch the whole video so you get the full coverage of these projects especially if you're like me and really really love shang chi so yeah let's get started with this breakdown before that please make sure to leave a like it would be very very helpful so please leave a like uh it really helps our videos i saw subscribe for a lot of other content uh that in my channel i just covered uh, charlie cox back as uh Daredevil in the MCU and everything, so let me just subscribe for a lot of other content in my channel. And lastly, make sure to uh, leave a comment down below on how much did you like Shang-Chi and how hyped are you for Shang-Chi 2, as well as any other theories that you have about Shang-Chi 2 or the Simplest Show involving uh, Shang-Chi characters, definitely show me that down in the comments. Okay, now let's get started. <laughs> So today, Monday, uh, which is the day I'm recording this video, news broke out that Destin Daniel Creighton, I might have mispronounced the name, but uh, he's a director of Shang-Chi, and news broke out that he's going to be working for Marvel and for Disney in general across a bunch of platforms. Uh, he signed a deal, I'm not sure for in, entirely for how much years he signed it for, but he's going to be working there for, for them for a really, really long time. And among the projects that he signed up for are working for Disney, they included Shang-Chi 2, which he will return to direct, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Like, let's go. First of all, with that, we got a confirmation that Shang-Chi 2 is happening. It wasn't confirmed to now. So I'm very happy about that. And number two is that he's back to direct it. He did an amazing job with the first one, especially on the action scenes. So definitely can't wait to see what he does with the second one, especially with more action scenes. And now that he has 10 rings, that's going to be awesome. So definitely very happy about that. And uh, this deal also confirmed that there's going to be a Disney Plus show around Shang-Chi characters and everything. And Daniel, uh, Destin Daniel Creighton, I'm not sure if he's going to direct them or is he just going to produce them. But he will be involved in some way or form in this show. Most likely, I would expect him to direct some episodes, but not all. But we'll see. We'll see what they decide to do. But he will at least for sure be a producer. So yeah, this is a very exciting news. So let's start breaking down the, the, these news uh, by plot details and everything. So let's start with Shang-Chi 2, which is I know what most of you guys are here for so let's get started with that so Shang-Chi 2 is in the works with the same director Shang-Chi 1 which is awesome uh Simba Liu is probably going to return and I say probably because there is something uh, stopping him from returning and that is that China uh cannot play any Simba Liu movies because of his past comments against Chinese uh against China and their beliefs and due to that uh they can't release any uh Simba Liu movies so that would definitely hurt Ch uh uh Shang-Chi's box office. We already saw that happen with the with this Shang-Chi that just came out, which got hurt massively because he couldn't have a Chinese box a Chinese uh, release. Uh, so it hurt his box office by a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, it basically ended around like 300 million less than Fast and Furious 9, even though it had way bigger uh, domestic uh, total and everything. But because it didn't have a Chinese release date uh, or a Chinese release in general, then it did just didn't have any box office there. So it just fell down 300. So that's a lot. You can see that Chinese box office, that the China box office uh, is a lot, a lot. So not having Chinese box office is terrible for a movie. And you saw that. So that cannot, that can kind of stop Simulio to get the role. I don't think they would take him out, but it's just a possibility because I am kind of a little bit concerned that they didn't say. And Simulio will be returning. I do think he will be returning, but there's still a slight chance, so I'm a little worried. Especially since he can't show up in Avengers movies, because then they can't release him in China. So, what's going to happen there, you know? So, it's definitely a bad situation, but we'll see what they end up doing for it, would it? But, uh, let's start with some plot details. So, who are going to be the bad guys of this uh, story? Well, in shang chi one, we got the post credit scene of the rings, uh, and that they're coming from somewhere, and they're sending a beacon to wherever they came from. So, where did those rings come from? Well, the director did say that if you looked closely at the Shang-Chi comics, it's not very far deep. It's pretty much the obvious answer. And that probably means that the Macluans, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, I'm just going to put the word right here. But the Macluans, Mac, Mac, something, like, something like that, which is a race of dragons, uh, just like the dragon that we saw at the end of Shang-Chi, the Great Protector, just kind of like that. It's a race of dragons uh, from space. And they do come from Shang-Chi comics, and they actually shape shift. So they're kind of like scrolls, but on steroids because they're dragons, you know what I mean? So it's pretty, very scary, and they come from space. And in the comics, they come to Earth, They uh, one of them leads, uh, which is Fing Han Foom. Fing Han Foom leads uh, Wen Wu, or uh, in the comics, the Mandarin, to get those 10 rings. And then 
then he manipulates him to world dominance and then he betrays him and then basically the Fim Fam Foom gets total control of world of the world. So that's pretty cool, that's a pretty cool story. Obviously they can't do that anymore because Wen was already dead and they're not gonna do that anymore. However, this will be a very, very cool story to see how they end up doing it. And I do 100% believe that these, go that these uh, are going to be the bad guys of the movie. So, how are they going to do this, to be honest? I'm definitely very curious. So, are they going to go to, like, space and have some space action? Are they going to show up in Earth as shape-shifting? And then, all of a sudden, you'll see, like, a dragon pop up. And that would be pretty cool as well. So, I'm definitely curious to see that. Uh, so, I'm also kind of worried because I know that's not going to let a lot for a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat. So, we'll see how they uh, manage to balance that. But I do 100% think that those are going to be the bad guys because, like I said, that's where the rings come from. And they're not good guys in the comics. And I don't think they're going to be good guys in the MCU either. Maybe some of them will. But for the most part, I don't think they're going to be good guys in the MCU. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. And that's a lot of plot right there. Alone, we might get a second pair of rings for Katie. We'll see about that. Or at least, like, a special bow or something. We'll see. But I definitely think that she's going to get an upgrade on the weapon. And, yeah. That's a pretty cool story. That, and I think that it has a lot of potential. And I just want to see... Uh, a bunch of dragons and earth. I think that's gonna be awesome. Okay, moving on to or on space. Unless if they go to space, that would be also be pretty awesome. Okay, moving on to the next uh, project that uh, Dan, Destin, Daniel Craven is working on, and that is the Destin Plus, the mysterious Destin Plus the thing involving Shang, the Shang-Chi universe. So, at least to me and to a lot of you, it is kind of obvious what it is. And I think that's obviously the sister of Shang-Chi, Chai Ling, uh, Destin Plus show. Because the post credit scene did set up a Destin Plus show for her very, very well. And I think that's probably going to be the new formula for uh, Marvel, Marvel movies. One post credit scene is going to set up a Destin Plus show. And one post credit scene is going to set up uh, the sequel. We saw it happen with Eternals. Uh, in case you're interested in Eternals, I'm not going to spoil it for you. But we saw that happen with Eternals. And we're seeing that happen uh, with Shang-Chi. So in Shang-Chi, obviously, you saw the sister take control of the Ten Rings organization. And I do think that's what the show's going to be about. I think it's going to be the Ten Rings. I do fully expect that Shang-Chi will show up in, in that show and because it's a sister. He's going to find out. And I don't think they're going to have enough time to put it in the movies. Or, or if they are, I think they have, at least have to have some setup made. So I don't think that he's going to show up in the show. Even if it's for the finale, I do think that he's going to show up. And I think it's going to be pretty cool to see the Ten Rings organization and the kind of like the dark stuff about that. You know, like, kind of like this underground thing and this super cool hand-to-hand -hand combat and everything. So I think it's going to be really, really awesome. And I do think that's what the show's going to be about. Now, this could not be the show because they haven't confirmed it in those pretty obvious so it kind of lets me to worry that it might not be that maybe that will be a, a plot line that's going to be explored in shang chi 2 to kind of balance out the hand-to-hand -hand combat with the cgi dragon fight so it could be that and instead we could get a simple show about uh, the world of where shang chi's mom comes from uh, and i could definitely see that happen as well because i think that has a lot of potential to uh, have this, its own Disney Plus show, but I don't see that happening. I do think it's gonna be about the Ten Rings and how Channing takes over and her new mission and everything. So that's gonna be pretty cool. That's gonna be pretty awesome. And I'm definitely excited to see the hand to hand combat in that show. I think that's gonna be the best part of the show, which is why I'm so excited. And also excited to see Channing versus uh, Shang Chi rematch. So that will also be pretty pretty cool. And yeah, those are the two projects that are going to happen from the Shang-Chi universe, which I find awesome, awesome, awesome. Also, I'm calling that Shang-Chi universe, even though they're all in the MCU, but I don't know what to call it. So I'm just going to call it Shang-Chi universe or Shang-Chi corner in the MCU. I don't know what to call it, but yeah, that's going to happen. So yeah, that's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome news, right? And yeah, that'll be it for this video. Uh, please give a like if you enjoyed this video. It would be very, very, very helpful. As well, subscribe for a lot of other content. Like I said, I just covered Charlie Cobb's being back as their devil. You can check out my video right here, link in the corner. I definitely recommend it. I think you'll find it very cool. And I definitely broke down those whole news. So make sure to go ahead and check it out. You can also check out my Shang-Chi Top 10 Scenes video uh, ranked. So I definitely recommend that as well. Especially, like I said, if you're like me and we like Shang-Chi, then check out that video. I definitely think you enjoy it. Uh, and lastly, make sure to tell me down in the comments any theories that you have about the Disney Plus show or Shang-Chi 2. Uh, basically, any theories, I just want to hear down in the comments below. I'm definitely curious to read it. So let me show me that down in the comments below. And yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. And this is JJ Entertainment. Out.